In this video, I'll be demonstrating how easy it is to create a virtual machine on Scale's HC3 system. Now here I've pointed my browser to the IP address of one of the nodes in my cluster, and I'm presented with the interface for the infrastructure in its entirety. That means all the nodes in the system. HC3 is a hyperconverged solution that combines servers, storage, and virtualization into a single, easy-to-use appliance for running your virtual machines. And as you'll see in this demonstration of creating a new VM, we dramatically reduce the complexity required for providing the high availability you need for your applications. Notice that I don't have to deal with RAID sets in this demonstration, iSCSI targets or LUNs, no multipathing, storage security or zoning or anything like that. And then on the server side, I can skip the complexity of iSCSI initiators, host and VM file systems, server clustering, and the policies associated with that. Instead, creating a new VM is pretty simple. I click on the Create VM button, give it a name, give it a description, set a tag, which is simply a logical grouping of VMs within the user interface. Here I'm going to select a Windows VM. This is simply to make use of the performance drivers that we ship along with HC3. Here I'm setting the number of CPUs required for this workload and the memory footprint that it requires. And then the last step here on the drive is to uh, set the drive size for the C drive, or if I wanted to add another drive, I could do that. And then finally, you know, where does the ISO live for this particular workload? And then I'll click Create. And I've created a VM, aptly named. And as soon as that's created, I can go ahead and start it up. Now as the VM starts, the intelligence built into HyperCore, which is HC3's operating system, will determine exactly where to place that VM based on the resources available at this point in time. And here it's selected node 1. Now I'll double click here from the HUD view to bring up the console for this particular VM. And you can see I'm presented with just a standard Windows interface within the console. Now nowhere in that creation dialog did I have to say I want this VM to be made highly available, but it is automatically. And that means that even during this initialization process of Windows here, the VM, if it were to fail, would automatically restart on one of the other nodes in the cluster without me as the administrator having to log in to manually do anything. I'd receive an alert letting me know that that node has failed, knowing that the VMs would automatically restart on the other nodes in the cluster. Now, the same data layout that protects against the node level failure is the same data layout that allows us to do things like live migrate a VM from one node to another. I'll simply click the move button, select the node that I'd like to move it to, and the system will essentially copy the memory from this particular VM onto node two in the system. Again, because of the shared storage underlying all of the VMs here clustered by HC3's HyperCore operating system, the data is available no matter what host that VM is, is running on. What's great about this feature though is you can move workloads from one node to another in the system without any downtime associated for you or the end users connected into the application. So just continuing on with our installation here, you can see that there's been no downtime with this VM despite moving it from one node to another. Now if you'd like more information about HC3, please sign up for our weekly demo or visit us online at www.scalecomputing.com for a live chat. We've built that straight into the website and would love to talk to you more about an HC3 system.